please answer these questions. Look at the passage again if you need to. You should choose the best answer and mark its letter on your answer sheet. 21. According to the author, when is it best to go bee hunting? In the final section of the text, we're told about when it's a good time to go bee hunting and that we should consider the season, because there is no point in going bee hunting if one can find no bees. We're then told that bees begin to work as soon as spring gets warm and they continue to do that until there is a severe frost. So if you examine any hive on a warm day, you will find bees. But what the bees are working on is another question. They are hard to find except during some definite honey flow, such as the white clover season or the milkweed or the goldenrod. In other words, when the bees are busy collecting the nectar they need, they will be easier to find. So be careful, not when they have collected all the nectar they need, but actually during the nectar collection season. You can see that that's here. They are hard to find except during some definite honey flow, such as the white clover season or the milkweed or the goldenrod. These are all plants which attract the bees in particular. This is nothing to do with them building their homes and certainly you wouldn't find many bees when they're hibernating. We're looking for them when they are busy collecting nectar, not when they have collected it. And of course we wouldn't look for them when they've had too much anise and are drunk. So B is the most sensible choice of answer to this question. And you can show that correct answer of B on the answer paper like this.